the Oblivion to Web. I'm Nostalgic Dave, and welcome back to Lynn. So, we're in another nightmare, and somehow last time we regained some, like, our stress level changed. Like, it lowered down to 60%, and then Jazz entered the room watching us play with ourselves. Which is a little weird to put into this, but yeah, sure. Luckily, we had a blanket covered us, but we did rise up in stress a little bit, so... Here we go. The walls, the floor, the ceiling. It's all dull and drab and gray. Mold sprouts in the corners of the room. It's dark, black in the center, but pales around the edges to a soft, almost pastel blue. The mold would be almost pretty, I guess, if the rest of this place, whatever this place is, wasn't so horribly cold and dank and dark. Fair enough. I shift uncomfortably. My mind hurts. Cold leaks through the back of my trousers. My thighs are turning into ice. Why am I sitting down in a place like this? Where in the world am I? Good questions. I try to get to my feet, but... <clears throat> well, we're back at 67 again. <laughs> A sharp wave of pain spikes through my right leg. It feels like something inside me has jammed. What happened? I look down, blinking, half afraid of what I might find, and... Ah. Uh, and a soft, pained moan escapes from my lips. Wait, what's going on? My right leg is bent at an awkward angle. It's snapped just beneath the knee like a tree branch in a thunderstorm. Ugh. Ow! It sticks out sickly, uncanny, and unnatural to the... R unnatural. To the right! Much, much too far to the right. Oh. Okay. Is my bone piercing through my skin? It feels like it. Ow! It hurts. I didn't realize just how much it hurt, but that's because I didn't realize it was broken so badly. Not until I saw it with my own eyes. Oh, God. But that doesn't make any sense. Why didn't it hurt before? Even if I couldn't see it, I should, sh I should have been able to feel it. Maybe it was the shock of being in such a strange environment. Or maybe it wasn't broken before I examined it. I wonder idly if some invisible force, a ghost or a ghoul or a phantom, took my leg between its spectral hands and split it in the millisecond it took for me to glance down. I don't know. I don't know anything. I bite my lower lip. My face is draining of color. I probably look like a mushroom. How did that happen? How is any of this happening? It's called you're in a dream. Or a nightmare, I guess. I turn to the right. To the left. Take it back now, y'all. One hop this time. One hop this time. Crisscross. cross! <laughs> I'm in a square-shaped room. There are exits all around me, but with my broken leg, there's no way I can escape. I can see a recess further back, beyond an open door. There should be a stairwell there, but there isn't. There's nothing. The place where the stairs should be is completely empty. It's just a vast, yawning crevice. And we're at 70%. Great. There are no stairs. Where are there? Why are there no stairs? Maybe there's just one floor. If I tried to shimmy my way down there, even without a broken leg, I think I'd end up broken in all sorts of other places upon landing. Ah, I see you're awake. Uh oh? Wait, who is that? There's a voice. It's low, but distantly, distinctly female. The voice echoes around the four walls of this drab, gray, mold-ridden room over and over again. You're awake. Awake. Wake. 
It sounds like an accusation. A shiver runs down my spine. The air in here is colder than liquid nitrogen. It took quite a while for you to come too, you poor baby. The woman's voice sounds concerned, but something about it sets my teeth on edge. I don't trust it. I don't trust her. Where is she? I can't see her. I search for the source of the mysterious voice and... Uh oh. Hi, Vaughn, hi. Hello. The speaker is standing in front of me. She's kneeling just inches away so her breath glides across my cheek. At least it would if she wasn't wearing a mask. Where did she come from? Hi, Vaughn. I swear she wasn't here before. There was nobody, just a voice. There was no body, just a voice. But voices can't exist on their own. That isn't possible. Yeah. Am I going crazy? Well, no, again, just a nightmare. Ah, uh, uh, ow! Ow! I guess. I don't know. A sharp pain spikes through my leg. My brain was so overwhelmed by this bizarre situation, I forgot for a few seconds it was supposed to hurt. It hurts more than it did before. Human legs aren't supposed to be... Aren't supposed to bean. Yes, that's a word. They're not supposed to bean. They're supposed to pork, I guess. I don't know. Not at 90 degree angles. Ow. Yeah, no, they're not. How long have I been here? Does that really matter, sweetie? You're here now, and you're not going to leave. No? No, sorry. Uh oh. Right. You might as well make yourself comfortable. You have no other choice. I can tell, despite the mask, that this woman's pretty. Her eyes are striking, and her eyebrows are curved into two neat arches. It's Vaughn! Her eyebrows are pierced. Her nose is pierced, too, and her ears. The lights in here are dim. Everything's dull and drab except for her. She's a rare, shiny object in a universe comprised of bland, repeating grays. She looks familiar. It's Vaughn! In fact, I think I recognize her. Are you Vaughn? My name doesn't matter. Bullshit! Her voice is a little muffled through the surgical mask, but I'm sure it's Vaughn. It looks like her, at least. But what is she doing here? I, um, I think my leg's broken. It would be, sweetie. W why? Why indeed? That is the question. That's the question throughout this whole thing. What? Well, what? What is the bigger question, actually? Her eyes harden. You shouldn't need to ask me that. The reason should be obvious. What? Huh? We thought... If you were subjected to a sudden sharp shock, you might remember what it was you've done wrong. But I guess not. You really are hard-headed. Or maybe you're incapable of feeling real remorse. What? I, I, I'm sorry. I try to keep my voice calm, even though sweat's starting to bend on my forehead. My leg doesn't just ache, it doesn't just hurt. It's Sears. Ugh. I felt that kind of pain before. It's not good. I'm sorry if I did something wrong. I, I swear, I didn't mean to. Those are pretty words, yes, but I can't trust them. Why not? How can I accept an apology when you don't understand why you're apologizing in the first place? But that's just my opinion. What does everybody else think? The girl who looks like Vaughn, but may or may not be Vaughn, turns her head. Is she gesturing towards an audience? That can't, that can't be. We're the only ones here. Aren't we? That's what I thought, but we're not alone. We're not alone at all. The edges of the room are crammed with people. They surround me in a circle. 
There are so many people, I can't even see the walls anymore. It's like they've eaten the landscape around me. Termites. Ugh. There are so many people calling them a mere crowd. There are so many people. Calling them a mere crowd doesn't begin to cover it. It doesn't give any sense of scale. Most of the people in the crowd are strangers. They're so strange to me. Alien, in fact. That I can't tell if they have eyes or ears or noses. There are a few faces, however, that I recognize. Jazz. Susie. Mom and Dad. Why are they all standing there watching? I try to call out to them, but I can't. The words snag in my throat. Feels like my vocal cords have been cut clean in two. By a spectral pair of scissors, perhaps? I can't make so much as a squeak. My leg hurts. It hurts so, so badly I can hardly think. I can hardly even feel. Everything is obliterated by pain. Pain fills my skull like a thick cloud of smog. A cloud of flies. Oh dear. It seems like you really have let everybody down, dear. Fuck you! Her fingers caress my cheek gently. Her nails are long and sharp enough to cause serious damage. She could gouge my eyes out with those nails so, so easily, and she wouldn't even break a sweat. I'm completely at her mercy. Nobody will defend me. Nobody wants to. They stand and watch in a circle, staring. They're all empty and soulless. Scarecrow people. Do they have any emotions in their hearts? Any care? Any compa any compassion? Maybe I don't deserve it. Now, do you know what people do with witches? What the hell? Since when am I a witch? I'm a witch? Yeah. I, I, I don't get it. I thought Vaughn was the witch. A self-proclaimed Wiccan. Yeah, that's closer to a witch than what you are, but I mean, that's still not a witch. But I don't know if this woman is Vaughn. Just like I don't know whether the Jazz or the Susie or the Mom or the Dad in the crowd are really Jazz or Susie or Mom or Dad. No, they're not because you're asleep. Just like I don't know if I'm the real Lynn. Is this really my body? My smashed leg feels dull and heavy. I can't move it. I don't think it belongs to me I've anymore. I don't think it belongs to me anymore. I can't twitch the toes on my right foot. Toes, twitch! Twitch, damn it! They're not moving, twitch! Ah! <laughs> I can't twitch the toes of my left foot. Ah, I'm losing control of my body! <laughs> Witches get burnt at the stake, right? No. We're not living in the medieval times. But, but, why? Haven't I been through enough? Don't worry about it, sweetheart. It'll be over soon. I know just how weak you are. How fragile. How easily broken. Wow. Vaughn, you're a douche. Her voice slips to a slow, sensuous whisper. But it wouldn't be fun if you passed out too quickly. Back away, sister. Stay back. No. No. What? You did something wrong, sweetie. Even if you don't remember it, we do. Look at all the people you've disappointed. All the people you've let down. She glances at the shadowy crowd. They stare at me, unblinking, their eyelids permanently open. Maybe they can't blink. Do they even have eyelids? All of a sudden, this idea sounds rather sensible. Why should people need eyelids here? They exist solely to judge me. Of course, they would stare. Of course they would stare! Excuse me, I'll just call for my lovely assistant. The woman who looks like Vaughn claps her hands together. 
She does. A girl steps forward from the crowd. Okay. Wild guess. Lynn with an E. Uh huh. Yep. <laughs> She isn't a tall girl. Her presence is entirely average and unimposing. She's the polar opposite of the woman who reminds me of Vaughn. She's around my height. She has a similar face, too. The same cheeks, the same nose, the same mouth, even the same nostrils. That's a little weird, but okay. But her leg isn't broken. She walks slowly without a limp. Like she has all the time in the world. Her irises are brown, like mine but they seem to stretch on forever and ever into infinity and beyond. I don't know, maybe she's Buzz Lightyear <laughs> in disguise. I could be sucked up by her steady, steely gaze, like water down a drain. Nah. I know this girl. I know her only too well. All right, 80. Oh, great. She's there all the time, whenever I'm asleep or awake. I can't escape from her. I can never escape. There's probably a big reason behind that. I'm pretty sure it's just because you care about her, you just don't want to admit it. You have a crush on her. I'm betting anything. I'm betting anything that's a... I still haven't looked up, like, what the dreams mean, but... Well, once I'm done with the entire series, I will look up. If I'm right about this, if it's because she has a crush on her, then holy crap. Give our guest a helping hand, dear. You know what to do. Lynn nods soundlessly and kneels down beside me. The woman who looks like Vaughn shuffles away, giving Lynn more space to perform whatever cruel ceremony she's supposed to conduct. Lynn reaches forward. She takes hold of both my cheeks with her hands. Her palms are cold. I shiver. Is she even alive? Her skin is so pale. I'm beginning to wonder if there's any blood inside her. Maybe she doesn't have blood, but ice. That's not entirely true. There are a lot of people in the world whose skin is cold, but they, I mean, it's, it's just because they're around cold scenery all the time or something. It's a little strange, but it is true. That would explain why she's so cold to the touch. No, it's just because of the temperature that she's around. Her heart is a glacial lake, completely frozen over. I want to ask her why. Why are you doing this to me? Do you really hate me this much? Why do you hate me? How dare you hate me? How can you stand to make me suffer when I want to make you suffer much? Much more. That's probably why. But I can't say any of those things. My throat is swollen. No sound comes out. Lynn parts her lips slowly. She sighs. Her sweet breath ruffles my fringe. There's something small and white, shaped like a perfect pearl, resting on the tip of her tongue. It looks like some kind of tablet. Medicine? But I don't have enough time to wonder. Lynn's fingers dig into my cheek a little tighter. Hard enough to hurt, her nails rake against my unprotected flesh. <clears throat> And then she dips her head. Her lips press against my... How'd I know? In my mind, throughout the whole thing in my mind, I was going, she's going to do something nice. She's going to either kiss her, she's going to try to heal her, or something like that. I'm so surprised my eyes snap open wide. So do my lips. She slides her tongue inside my mouth, coiling it about mine. And deposits the strange alien pill inside me. It tastes strange. Everything here is strange. My head swims. My whole body hurts. It isn't just my leg. I feel like I'm being torn apart. I'm being stabbed with shards of glass over and over again. I whimper into Lynn's kiss. I don't want to swallow the tablet. I don't know what this strange medicine is, but I know it. Can't, I know I can't swallow it. I won't. But Lynn doesn't draw her mouth away from mine. Her mouth is a very warm cavern filled with sticky saliva. She's consuming me, devouring me. I choke. 
Lynn shoves her tub tongue even deeper into my mouth. I find myself swallowing despite myself. A small tablet slides down my throat. Tears bead in the corner of my eyes. A piercing sensation threatens to split my body in two. It feels like I'm being ripped apart. I feel like I'm not even myself anymore. Was I ever myself to begin with? Maybe there is no girl called Lynn. This whole time I was just a copy. A fake. I can't breathe. I can't talk. I can't think. All I can do is hurt. Jeez. This is getting dark. The crowd around me starts buzzing excitedly. Lynn observes for a few moments before she draws away. It's like she can't bear to touch me. I can smell something in the air. It's a smoky, acrid smell. It's the smell of burning flesh falling from the bone. What? My skin is smoldering. My flesh is melting. What the hell? The fat inside my body is bubbling. I'm hurting. I'm crying. I'm dying. Okay! My eyes start to turn to liquid inside their sockets. My eyes drip down my cheeks. Not that I have cheeks anymore. Slowly like syrup. Like the whites of an overcooked egg. My right leg doesn't hurt anymore. It's no longer attached to my body. I no longer have a body. That's fine. Maybe this is what I wanted all along. What? No! No, 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 no. I'm not accepting this. Okay, if next episode increases as much as this episode in the last episode did, then I think next episode might be the last. I'm not sure how this is going to end. But it'll either be the last or second to last, because, I mean, usually when it hits that climax, which I'm going to guess in this story is the stress level hitting 100, usually when it hits that climax, things get better. And usually you're, like, getting to the falling action of a story, which leads to the end of the story, so it'll either be next episode or the episode after where things end. I'm probably just going to go through all of them today, I don't know. I've got a couple of things I do need to get done. But past that, I mean, yeah, that's about it. But anyway, I am going to end this episode here. Go ahead and save right now just in case I change my mind. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. And... Alright, yeah, I'm leaving the episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, push that like button and so far you can't see it anymore. If you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. I'm out, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!